And then here on the top right, you should see add field group. If you can't see it, clear the cache. Sometimes that button just doesn't want to be shown until you clear the cache. So let's go ahead and add in tabs. So if we click on add field group, we can select a few options. So, so you have the ability to add in field sets, details, tabs, HTML element, detail sidebar, and then you have tab, singular, not plural. So for us to create a bunch of tabs, let's first create a field group using the tabs with an S, so plural. And let's call this one just tabs. You can actually enter any type of label because the label's technically not shown. Then you can control the direction. So if you want it to be vertical or horizontal, let's just change it to horizontal. And then you can control if, if you want to allow HTML in the labels. And also you can add in certain IDs and classes. Let's go ahead and click on save. All right. Now, if you scroll all the way down, you should see tabs. Now move that up. I'll move that to under title and click on save. All right, now let's click on add field group again, but this time for the individual tab, you need to use then the tab group. And then you need to nest the tab group under tabs, very important. So we'll call this one content. And let's just click on save and continue. And let's create another one for tags. So where is that? Let's move content, then add that below tabs, and then move tags and add that below tabs as well. Essentially what you want is to make sure that they're both nested under tabs. And finally, you want to then move the actual widget. So under content, we want the content field and under, under, under tags, we want the tags field. You can also control, if you click on the cogwheel here on the right hand side, if it's open or closed, the state. So let's click on save and just make sure everything is there. Yes, it is. And now if we refresh, we get these nice little tabs. And field group is a great way to just organize unruly forms, essentially. And I use it on pretty much every single Drupal site. It is, it is a module that I've, I've been using for last, you know, most 10 years, 15 years, ever, ever, since, ever since it's been out, because you always need to control, control your widgets. It's always important to control them um, because then your forms get just way too difficult to use.